up guys zab nation here and i'm back i'm back from exams i'm back from where the hell i came from where i've been missing in action for about three weeks and i'm back i'm back to make videos and it's summer so what's the best thing about summer it's that you're cutting and then you want to be shredded for rnv don't you if you're from new zealand fuck you better be shredded man we're all getting the shred together so this video is my first tutorial and it's how to freaking cut boy This is my first time doing a tutorial video, so let's take this for a spin together, okay guys? So, first of all, I'm not a doctor, I am not your local physician, I'm not your GP, so take this video with caution. If I fuck up anywhere, please tell me, and if you have any questions, fire away. If you want to insult me, fire away. If you want to say you're a fat shit, you shouldn't be talking about how to cut, okay, good for you. <laughs> okay. So let's backtrack it all the way to the beginning of the year, okay? In the beginning of the year, I was around 112 kilos. The reason why I was at that level was that I broke my finger. Um, can't see it, it, it looks fucking weird. It looks like, fuck, okay. I don't wanna go over that, it gives PTSD. And, okay, long story short, I was 112 kilos, eating so much shit, eating so much like fucking junk, and not training. That's the main one, not training. And, when I was 112 kilos, I wanted to do drop back down once I got the green light to train again. When I was training in Wellington, of course, like when you go back to training, I was doing cardio, I was doing all of that, trying to lose weight. And I went down from 112 to around about 108. Before I went to uni, I went to uni at around about 108, 107. And when I got to that mark, I was told to do a novice competition. And this is when I started to know a lot more powerlifters, I, I was a lot more open, I was a lot more talkative, I would talk to other members of the club now. I was a second year student, no more first year jitters, talking to other people. When I was talking to other people, they told me about the methods of water cutting and like intermittent fasting. They didn't know anything about calorie intake yet, which is a main point in this video. We'll go into that soon, don't worry, trust me, trust Dr. Zab, I'm not a doctor. For my novice comp, I, man I managed to like keto a bit, I didn't eat carbs, and everything was just protein, felt like shit, but then water cut as well, and sodium loaded, went down from 108, 107, all the way managed to cut down to 104, a very high 104, I should say, 104.7, around that, so I just made my 105 weight class, and then I water cut it again, and tried ketoing again down to 102, 103, in time for a regional comp. And when I went to regionals, that weight, that I stayed in at 103, 102, that was my weight for so many months, till nationals even. And when I went to nationals, I was 102 kilos. And after nationals, that's another story. I became a fat shit. I didn't care anymore. I was like, fuck it, power the things, fuck. Why don't we eat, our, we eat and drink beer till we fucking like party our lives away or some shit like that. I yoled my whole like three weeks after nationals. And then after nationals, I got a message from my friend Terence Ang, aka as the squid, the lion, squid lion, Terence Ang. He told me, fuck it, Zeb, you are fat as shit. I am fat as shit now. He is not fat as shit. I'm, I was just lying. I was just exaggerating. He is jacked like there is no tomorrow. He is jacked and tan. He told me I have to cut. And I said, okay, why not? I'm finish nationals, what the fuck am I gonna do? I'm not competing anytime soon. So I jumped on the cup wagon. And then somewhere around August, I was waiting at 104 kilos, and then I started my cut. And now this is the part that everyone wants to know, how to cut. Okay, it is very simple. I'm gonna break it down as into like as small as possible. So bear with me, let us begin. Step one, find your maintenance calories. Um, what this means is finding your main their calorie intake that you require to reach to maintain the weight that you're at sounds silly but you have to maintain that weight for one week um why why exactly do i have to maintain my weight why can't i shred now why can't i get the fucking six pack abs okay just wait take a step back fucking listen to zab okay the reason why you get, I find it that you take one week of maintenance is that you get yourself ready for the, it's like preparing yourself for the cut. 
need to prepare for it. You need to start by getting back into the rhythm, learning how to count your calories. Um, a big thing, holy shit, you, if, you're, if you don't have this thing, you're not cutting. It's this. It's a food scale. You can get it at your local Briscoes, um, your local farmers, the Wadifade, anywhere. Like, you can get, get yourself a food scale. It is what has kept me cutting this whole time. It's what got me to 95 kilos. It's not no magic supplement, it's nothing that it's a food scale. Weigh your food, weigh your protein, weigh everything, okay? And when it comes to like fast food, overestimate. Like when it says like 400 calories for a Big Mac, you're like, what the fuck, bro? You are lying. Which is probably the truth, because I'm like, why would they want to make their food more unhealthy than it should be? And why won't, why wouldn't they like underestimate it on paper? Get some people, more people eating. More of that fucking bing bing money money. Uh, count your calories and keep your maintenance. Calculate your maintenance. How do you calculate your maintenance? I don't have a fucking clue. Go onto the internet and go look at the online calculators. If you say my video that all oh, says you don't know how to cut because you can't even like mathematically calculate your fucking calories and go and turn your fucking computer and turn it that some bitch sideways and shove up your ass because fuck i did the cut and i did the work okay and find your maintenance calories and learn how to use a food scale learn how to use calorie apps like my fitness pal to track your calories and maintain that weight that you are at for one week don't go over don't go under one week maintain two is you have to subtract your calories after maintenance. What I mean by subtracting your calories, subtract it by 200 to 300, whatever is comfortable to get you to your first week. Don't go anything under 200, don't go anything under 200 calories and probably don't go over 300 because then like, you don't want to be fucking underfeeding yourself for your first week of cutting. You don't want to be unmotivated and you don't want to be like, fuck my life, let's bulk up to 120s, the Zabala. So in the first week of the cut, okay, it goes from maintenance to first week of the cut. In the first week of the cut, you cut it by 200 to 300 calories. And then at this point, it's counted, you measure it. And with that being said, People ask me, what about your carb intake, your protein intake, and your fat intake? Um, to be honest, I didn't really care. I know it's a big deal, you gotta care for that shit. Okay, let me explain. So, I was just really worried about hitting my calories, like make, make sure I didn't go over my specific like calorie goal. And I didn't worry about fats and all of that stuff. Because like it was exams, it was studying for exams, it was like hectic. I had no time to just be like, oh shit, I'm lacking carbs. I was more like, oh shit, I haven't eaten this whole day. I need to eat. So yeah, don't really worry. But then like, if you want a more effective cut, yeah, you should like worry about that shit. Because then like it worry like it it really hinders your performance in the gym. And for example, like if I was under like carbs way under carbs i'd be fucking underperforming in the gym like i'd be struggling on a 90 kilo bench and i'll be like fuck my life is a lie and then there'll be times where i ate too much fats and then i'd be so unproductive throughout the whole day i'll be like fuck i don't even want to move so it does come into play a lot if it, it'll like hit like it'll affect your performance in the gym that's the main thing so if you don't give a fuck and you just want to lose weight then don't give a fuck like but then if you want to perform well in the gym as well like alongside your cut then you should care about your fats proteins and carb intakes three repeat step two <laughs> and then vice versa it's gonna and i don't want to be cheeky it's not it's gonna be like that step four repeat step two step five repeat step two just keep subtracting your calories by 200 to 300 after each week and then how long does this cut last it probably goes from maintenance week one of cut week two week three week four like it should be a block is five weeks okay like you don't want to go any more under like you want on death week i call it like the week four of cutting death week because that's when you're like really in a calorie deficit at that point you should have had a new weight like a new weight for example i went from 104 on the fifth week i was around about i think 98 98 or low 100s and then once you get that weight like you cal you calculate 
the week um the weekly averages like of the week so you calculate, calculate how much you weighed throughout the week on maintenance get the average of the week and then for week one of the cut you get the average of the week of the cut of like your weight like the average weight of that week on week one of the cut and then you keep doing it for week two week three and week four and that's your weight and then guess what you peak steps all over again that's how you cut that's what's gotten me down to 95 that's what's gotten me from 104 to 95 that's got that's what basically gotten me to like where i am right now cutting weight is making me happy like if you're cutting while standing don't cut like like, unless it's for health like purposes like then i guess you should worry about your weight but if you're like cutting it like and you're in your final week of the cut and you're like fuck something's happened like, just take a break take a maintenance break take like a few days maybe on maintenance and just go back into your cut again like it's a long game that's what i've learned that's what kind of terence told me like and taught me that cutting it's a long game you're not gonna wake up tomorrow by eating zero calories and then getting six pack abs it doesn't work that way so I hope my video was beneficial. I hope it wasn't too confusing. If it was confusing, post a comment down below. And if you're deciding to cut by watching this video, good on you. Like, I wish you all the best. My Instagram is at ZabNation. Just hit me up and I will like answer any of your questions. Like, comment for what you want, like down below. And that's it, eh? Zab. Welcome back, boy.